हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एस आर ए क्रिएटिव कॉर्नर आई एम शायंतनी रॉय आदित्य बैक हियर विथ आवर क्रोशे लर्निंग क्लासेस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक दिस ब्यूटीफुल फ्लावर पैटर्न क्रोशे डिजाइन दिस इज वेरी इजी टू मेक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दिस पैटर्न यू कैन मेक sweater of course or scarf or shawls etc so let's start let me keep this aside to make this you first need to make a slip knot now you need to make uh, multiple basic chains multiple of 6 plus 4 that means you need to make the uh, basic chains uh, along with your uh, project length Uh, which should be multiple of six, then add four more um, basic chains. Okay. So for this video, uh, I am going to make twelve basic chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Now, add four more chains. One, two, three, four. If you don't know how to make the basic chains or uh, how to do the basic stitches of crochet, I have separate videos on those topics. Uh, you can watch those. Uh, in my channel or you can find those uh, video link in my description box down below the uh, video before starting friends uh, allow me to tell you if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button if you yet not subscribe my channel uh, please do subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon just beside the subscribe button okay so let's start Here I have made first the um, basic chain of multi, which is multiple of six. Then I add four more chains. Now into the fifth chain from the hook. Let me count one, two, three, four, and five. Here I am going to make a double crochet into the next chain. Make another double crochet into the next chain. Make another double crochet, and for this row, I am going to make uh, one double crochet into each chain. one double crochet into each chain one double dear friends here i am going to make one double crochet into each chain for this row okay now you can see this is the first row 
this row okay let me tell you friends this pattern is the four row repeat pattern that means uh, this is a four row pattern then this four row again um, you need to repeat for uh, another row of flower okay this is the first row now chain 1 and turn your work now second row for second row you need one single crochet for the first chain now chain 2 skip two chain chain here one two into the third make one double crochet now chain two into this same stitch make another double crochet again chain 2 skip 2 chains into the third make one single crochet you can see a small v pattern is ready here okay now again chain 2 skip 2 chains here 1 2 into the third make one double crochet chain two into this same stitch make another double crochet now chain two skip two into the last stitch make one single crochet row 2 completed now row 3 for this first need to make 3 chain turn your work In row 3, we are going to make this um, flower petals. For this flower petals, we are going to make puff stitches. So, here I am going to make uh, uh, 3 chains. Sorry, we are going to make 4 chains actually. 4 chains. Now, puff stitch into this small v for puff stitch you need to make yarn over insert your hook through the v stitch like this yarn over and pull through keep it again yarn over insert hook through the v stitch yarn over and pull through keep it again yarn over Insert the hook into the V-stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now you have six, 7 loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all the loops except the first one. Again you, you have 2 loops now on your hook. Again yarn over and pull through the 2 loops. This is the first petal and first puff stitch done. Now chain 2, make another puff stitch into the same V, one, two and three, seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops except the first one, now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the two loops. 
chain 2, make another pop stitch into the same space. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull through, yarn over, insert the hook, pull through. For the third time, yarn over, insert the hook and pull through. You have 7 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all the loops except the first one. Now yarn over and pull through. Now you can see friends, here the first flower has been done. Like this. Now chain 1. Now we are going to make another flower into the next V, v space. Okay. For this, you need to make yarn over, insert the hook, pull through, yarn over, insert the hook, pull through, yarn over, insert the hook and pull through. Now you have 7 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through, except the first one. Now yarn over and pull through both of the loops. Chain 2. You have already made the first petal of this flower. Now again for the second petal we are going to make another puff stitch. For this you, you need to make yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Now you have 7 loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through the um, all loops except the first one and yarn over pull through both of the loops. Chain 2 Make another puff stitch for the third petal of this flower. flower. For this yarn over, insert the hook into the V space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, insert the hook into the V space, yarn over and pull through. For the third time, yarn over, insert the hook into the V space, yarn over and pull through. You have 7 loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all the 6 loops except the first one. Now yarn over and pull through both of the loops. Now make one chain and make a triple crochet into the last stitch. One, two. You can see friends, here the flowers, flowers has been done. Now into the third row, we are going to make this pattern. For this, you need to make 4 chains. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, this is means 3 chains is your first uh, double crochet stitch. And this one chain is the uh, gap, one chain gap stitch. Let me show you how it will work. Now yarn over and make a double crochet between the puff stitches of the first flower here. Okay, now again chain 1, make one double crochet between the puff stitches here. Again chain 1, now one double crochet between the flowers like this 
chain one one double crochet between two petals like this chain one one double crochet between another two petals chain one and make one double crochet into the last stitch third row completed now chain 3 turn your work this is the fourth row and this is the last row of this pattern here I am going to make this line you can see after finishing the third row this space gap pattern has been done after the flowers okay fourth row make a double crochet here between the gap make a double crochet here on the double crochet stitch like this make a double crochet into the gap like this make a double crochet on a double crochet stitch like this next is next double crochet is into the gap like this next one is on the double crochet stitch like this one double crochet into the gap next one is on the double crochet stitch one into the gap next one on the double crochet stitch one double crochet into the gap and I am going to finish this, this row uh, with a double crochet on the last stitch of the previous row. Row fourth is complete and it will look like this after finishing the row four. You can see friends this is my sample design this is i have made i have made first a uh, basic chains then for the first row i have made one double crochet into each chains then i have made one single crochet and made the v stitches here then i have made the flower petals here with puff stitches then I have made in the third row I have made uh, the mm, gap uh, double crochet gap stitches here and then I have made this uh, double crochet finishing line here thanks for watching if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button Thank you very much. Stay with us. Subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot.